My name is Roman Krasnarek. I'm a writer on the art of living and a social philosopher and founder of the world's first empathy museum. So this evening I'm going to be talking about the art of seizing the day, carpe diem, an ancient ideal that goes back to the Roman poet Horace. And the idea that I have, in a way the discovery I've made, is that carpe diem has been hijacked. And it's the existential crime of the century and we've barely noticed that it's happened. So the question is, how has carpe diem been hijacked? How can you hijack a philosophy of life? Well, firstly, carpe diem has been hijacked by consumer culture. Just do it has really become just buy it. It's turned into Black Friday shopping sprees and the instant hit of one-click online buying. And just do it has really become just plan it. It's been captured and hijacked by our culture of hyper-scheduled living, filling up our electronic calendars weeks in advance. And then, Carpe Diem has been hijacked by 24-7 digital entertainment. Just do it has become just watch it. We're checking our phones 110 times a day. We become spectators of life on the screen rather than living it directly ourselves. And there's a fourth hijacker, and this is the surprising one. Mindfulness. Just do it has become just breathe. We become obsessed with living in the now. And this is a new form of Carpe Diem. People associate the idea of seizing the day with being in the here and now, which has never happened before in the past. And this association between mindfulness and carpe diem is crowding out all the different varieties of seizing the day that have emerged over the past two, century, two millennia. I think we're at a moment of political flux where there are huge challenges in the world from climate change to the rise of far-right extremism across Europe. How are we going to tackle that? Well, I think carpe diem, ancient philosophy, is one of the answers, but I'm thinking of collective carpe diem, which is people going onto the streets and really reviving medieval carnival culture, where they were challenging authority um, back in the Middle Ages with peasants who would dress up as priests and lords in mockery of their masters. So what do decision makers have to do today? They have to create the social spaces and the political spaces where these kinds of street protests and movements can happen. Political change isn't just about getting the right policies in place, those things are important too. But we need to protect everything that makes social movement action possible. Freedom of speech, freedom of association. A lot of these basic civil and political rights are actually at the cornerstone of carpe diem political change, but they are being eroded by an anti-politics, um, the rise of extremist um, non-system politics and non-system politicians, and we have to preserve democratic values to allow change to happen.